new entries okay i'm going with triple seven okay development city hyderabad currency what is currency in client role customizing now what are the settings today we are going to discuss about this settings the first setting is uh, changes and transports for client specific objects what are the client specific objects we have please application data application user master data, data and client specific customization client specific customizing data and which data you want to move from your development system to uh, quality system out of these three client specific customizing data excellent excellent everybody agree with this yes from development system what we move to quality system do we move user master data no no user no. master data is independent for each and every system development system has different users quality system has different users so there is no concept of uh, transporting that users right application data we don't have business data in our development system so there is no concept of moving that application data from development to quality quality to production right so the remaining in the client specific objects the remaining thing is what client specific customization that local setting so the setting is changes and the transports he is asking for two permissions can i change can i transport is this clear can i change can i transport client specific objects so if you say changes without automatic recording what is the meaning of automatic recording means so i told you in sap we move the data from one system to another system by using which mechanism there is a special type of mechanism rfc the remote function tms i told you tms remote na? function yeah rfc is also one of the method the main method they use is tms okay to uh, what is tms transport management system tomorrow we'll see that okay transporting is nothing but exporting plus importing so when you do some courier or something some object then they will give you one tracking id right every for every package they will have one unique number if you want to track that uh, courier or something you should uh, have that number right tracking id are you getting what i am trying to say yes. every parcel has a unique number right the same way every change whatever you want to move from this system to that system will have will assign a unique number that number is called as a transport request that number is called as a transport for example if you have uh, written one program in development system you want to move that to quality then the transport you have to create a transport request one number will be assigned to that program you need to release that number then only it will move to development to quality so what he is saying is changes without automatic recording means if you do this now it will allow you to do changes for client specific objects but it is not recording if it is not recording you cannot move to quality system automatic recording of changes means whatever the changes you do it will be automatically recording as a transport request then you can easily move the objects by using tms mechanism no changes allowed it is a development system in a development system will i go with no changes allowed no changes mm -hmm. without automatic recording no transports allowed so i don't use these two options i should choose one of these two if i want to use tms method 
I should go with automatic recording of changes means it is allowing you to change and whatever the change you do it is recorded as transport request changes without automatic recording which option I should choose for example why you are doing anything in the development to take effect on a production only na? the the main motto of any developer is why he is creating some objects in development why why we are having the development system we have to do some developments there and we have to test there finally it has to be effect on our production so whatever the thing you do in development the final goal of that object is we have to move that to production system to take effect on my business right so which option I should choose changes and transports for client specific objects changes without automatic recording automatic recording of changes no changes allowed which option should I go anyone automatic recording of changes if I choose this now what happens this setting is only for client specific objects the second setting is for that grassland customizing a repository automatic recording of changes ok now changes and transports for client specific objects client specific objects means there are three things na? user master data application data and client specific customizing data so client specific objects means he is only referring to client specific customization only he is not referring to user master data he is not referring to application data remember that client specific objects means actually three but user master data don't generate a transport request your application data don't generate a transport request remember these two things why if user master if whenever you are creating a user na, is it creating any transport request yesterday we have created mazhar user and maz user when we are creating no, a user is it creating a transport request no if it is creating a transport request what happened i have to move that to quality from quality i have to move that to production so all the development users will come to quality quality users will all the development users will come to production so it is a thumb rule of sap what no developer should have access to production so sap is restricted whenever you create a new user it won't prompt you for a transport request clear if you create a user it won't prompt you for a transport request if you do any client specific settings it will prompt you for a transport request then you can move it to quality from quality you can move it to production application data you don't have application data so there is no concept of moving to production we only have application data in which system production client right so just ignore that user master data and application data in this setting changes and transports for client specific objects means he is only referring to client specific customization data so that setting should be automatic recording of changes is this clear Yeah. When we use changes without automatic recording. Okay. Uh, when you use changes without automatic recording, uh, what is the meaning of recording, automatic recording, record, not recording? It will record as a transport request. It will record whatever the. So you can move that de, that change via TMS. If you don't want to move your data by using TMS, you can go with the changes without automatic recording. Then use that client copy method to move the data. We can build a landscape in three ways. Remember, what is the building a landscape? Building a development system, then building a quality system and move the data from development to quality. After testing, build a new production system and move all the quality data to production. That is building a landscape how many ways you can build a landscape means three ways i can build a landscape one is tms method if you want to use tms method you should go with automatic recording of changes if you want client copy method 
we should go with changes without automatic recording if you want system copy method there is another method system copy method nothing is required for system copy method simply copy all your database and paste it into the quality system from call, after testing copy all the data back up all the database and restore into the production system that's it what happens if i go with the system copy method i told you in a development system we will do so many developments all the developments will not get success for example if i write if i try to write 1000 programs now only 100 will be successful so if you use the system copy method what happens it will take all the database so it will take all uncompleted programs okay error programs everything into quality from there everything will be production so your production will have so much unnecessary data if you use automatic recording of changes only successfully completed programs you will transport manually one by one so which one is good tms method or client copy method or system copy method same client copy method also if you say sap underscore cust it will copy entire customization data in that customization data you have some uh, uncompleted programs uncompleted settings also so i don't require all those things i require only the successful programs needs to be come to quality neatly then i'll move i'll test all those programs then i'll move to production so only successful programs will come so which option should i go tms method client copy method or system copy method to build a landscape tms tms method if you want to go with the tms method what setting should you have automatic recording of changes if you say automatic recording of changes na whatever the client specific customization you do it will prompt for a transport request okay after that you can move the transport request to quality there you will check after checking you will move the transport request to production simple changes and transport he is asking for two things can i change can i transport if i use automatic recording of changes so it will allow you to do the change and it will allow you to record as a transport request and remember this setting is only speaking about <coughs> client specific customizing setting why user master data don't generate a transport request remember remember this mind user master data don't generate a transport request and application data we don't have application data in development so it is a development kind now we don't have application data business data so he is referring to client specific customization second setting cross client object changes what are the class client objects cross client customization data repository data repository data right very good here if you observe changes and transports two thing it is asking two things but here only changes can a transport or not it is not asking why if you change any cross client customizing and repository objects it should be recorded as a transport request it should be recorded as a transport request that's why it is not taking your permission just it is asking can i change or not if you change i'll create as a transport request that's it there's no other chance here you can you can select can i record as a transport request or not if you choose this it will record as a transport request if you choose it won't record as a transport it will allow you to change but it won't record as a transport request if you choose this it will allow you to change and whatever you change it will be automatically recording as a transport request but when comes to cross client changes it should be recorded as a drug why global changes these are global changes it should be recorded as a transport request that's why it is asking for only for changes option not for transports it should be recorded so changes to repository and cross client customizing allowed that means both allowed development client i should go with the allowed only no changes to cross client customizing that means only it will allow you to change repository no changes to repository objects that means it will only allow you to change cross client customizing 
no changes to repository and cross client customizing objects so in a development system development what we do we do the modifications enhancements and new developments now if you go with this setting what happens nothing you cannot change anything so which option should i choose for development client what are allowed both are allowed changes to repository and cross client customizing should be allowed so here cross client customizing repository changes allowed and it will automatically record as a transport request if i change any of them if i choose this client specific customizing will be recorded as a transport request. now what are the things i'll move from my development system to quality local settings global settings and repository objects that's it now client specific customizing setting cross client customizing setting and repository objects by having this setting i am allowing client specific customizing setting by having this setting i am allowing repository and cross client customizing setting these three things only na out of five things only these three things will move to quality system right is this clear clear client copy and comparison tool protection level 0 no restriction no overwriting no overwriting no external error. no restriction means client copy if you want to do the client copy to which client the 700 client there will be no restriction it will allow you to it will allow you to do the client copy if you say no overwriting so it won't allow you to do the client copy so as when it is a fresh client na we will go with no restriction after doing the client copy you can change this to no overwriting generally for production client quality client we will use no overwriting option why for example if your uh, production system is having 300 as a production client if somebody logs into 300 client and hit ssel so what happens it will copy from 000 to that 700 na that 700 entire data will gone so that's why your production system will have no overwriting for your development client you will have no restriction what is this my client development client and the third setting is no overwriting no external availability it won't show you also that client so we don't use this setting no restriction and no overwriting if it is a development client no restriction if it is a quality client no overwriting okay no restriction e cat and cat not allowed when i should go with the allowed if it is a quality client i'll allowed e cat and cat allowed what is cat and e cat computer aided test tool electronic computer aided test tool it is used for creating some dummy application data why we require dummy application data when we develop some programs in a development system na then we'll move to quality system to test them we require some business data some dummy business data for quality client only we'll go with e cat and cat allowed for development client and production client we say not allowed and the restrictions second setting is protection due to client copy when you are doing the client copy na if you open the settings it will be locked automatically that is locked due to client copy protection against sap upgrade if you select this and if you upgrade your system na this 7 777 client won't be updated for example if you are on ecc6 you upgraded to s4 hana so why you use this option means to get the differences functional differences between two releases we use this option for 777 client you go with this option do the upgrade what happens your entire system will got updated but only this client will be on ecc6 so you can observe the functional differences between two releases but right? nobody will use this but there is a option is this clear with everyone client settings yes 